Hi, my name is Johan, and I'm a developer here at MathWorks. Imagine you're contributing to a MATLAB or Simulink code base on GitHub. You've got peers doing just the same. Amidst all the collaboration, a single code change could suddenly break the repo for everyone. Using MATLAB with GitHub Actions, you can verify and validate your MATLAB code on GitHub Actions before those changes reach everyone else. Let's start with the repo on GitHub. I'm first going to clone it and open it within MATLAB. Now, this repo is only kind of fancy, in that the getFancy function just returns a hard-coded character vector. I want to make this repo a bit more sophisticated by having it read in data from a file and return that instead. To do so, I'm first going to grab the path of this pretty fancy text file in the repo. Next, I'll use file read to get its contents. Notice how I'm using the full path to the text file instead of a relative path. Finally, I'll update my test while I'm at it. With the feature and accompanying test complete, I'll give it a spin by running the test in MATLAB. Nice, it passed. Let's pause for a second though to see the bug I'm about to introduce. Not only is the hard-coded path from before unlikely to exist on other people's machines, but also this path may not work altogether on Linux and Windows. Yes, my test passes on my local machine, but I do not know that it's almost guaranteed to fail on another person's machine. In other projects, this might not be as obvious. Now, unaware of this issue in my code, I'll commit it on a new branch and push my branch up to GitHub. Over at GitHub, I'll initiate a pull request to signal my intent to add my changes to the main branch for everyone else to use. Typically, I'll include a title, a description, and some reviewers. Great. Here's the pull request. Now you know my submission has a bug in it, but it's up to my reviewers to find it by meticulously scanning the code and or running it themselves. If they miss the bug as I did, my change will end up breaking the repo. But I've already written a test, so it would be great if my reviewers could see it passing and just review the code. Now this is where GitHub Actions comes in. I'm not going to merge this pull request just yet. Instead, I'm going to enable a continuous integration workflow on the repository by heading to the Actions tab in GitHub and creating a new workflow. Workflows are defined using YAML. I'm going to configure this workflow to run on every push and every pull request to the main branch of the repo. You'll notice here that the default template on GitHub already specifies those triggers. Now, for a MATLAB project like this one, there are three MATLAB actions we can use. Set up MATLAB, run command, and run tests. Using these actions on GitHub Actions, you can either use a GitHub hosted runner or a self-hosted runner to execute MATLAB code. For this workflow, we'll set up a GitHub hosted runner running Ubuntu and set up the latest version of MATLAB on it using the setup MATLAB action. We'll then add a run test step two. Finally, we'll save the workflow. I'm committing it directly to the main branch in this demonstration, but I otherwise recommend committing to a new branch and reviewing the workflow with other collaborators first. Now that we've added the workflow to the main branch and spec'd it to run on pull requests, let's return to our pull request from before. Nothing's happened yet. We need to catch this branch up with the main branch in order to get the actions workflow we just made. I'm going to head back into MATLAB and do just that by changing to the main branch, pulling down the latest commits, changing back to my fancy branch, merging the changes there, and pushing the branch back up again. Now let's flip back to the pull request on GitHub and see the actions in action. Oof, it failed. That's not good. Let's take a look at the logs to see what went wrong. I see that GitHub Actions conveniently formats the logs for easy navigation. Right now, I'm interested in figuring out what went wrong in my tests. Ah, there it is. It looks like I hard coded a path on my local machine that isn't present on the fresh Linux runner on which GitHub ran my tests. I see now that even though the test passed on my machine, 
it likely would have failed on everyone else's. Thankfully, GitHub Actions and MATLAB caught this bug before my change was merged into the main branch. All right, let's head back into MATLAB and fix this bug. I'll correct this hard-coded path to a relative path inside the repo. Now, I'll run the tests again on my local machine and commit and push them to my branch on GitHub. Back on GitHub, the actions are already running again to validate my latest changes to the pull request. There we go, it's green. Now my reviewers know that the code is working and they can review my implementation and tests knowing nothing is broken. Using MATLAB with GitHub Actions, you can leverage continuous integration workflows right from your GitHub repos. For more information, including our support for other CI solutions, such as Azure Pipelines, CircleCI, Jenkins, and Bamboo, check out the links in the description below. And of course, thank you for watching.